Hi, this is Kirk, and thanks for stopping by. Today I wanted to give you a quick four-minute overview of what's inside MechQ. First of all, if you're not familiar with MechQ, let me give you a quick rundown on what it is. First, it's an engineering add-on that runs directly inside either AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT. It also runs in other CAD apps like IntelliCAD, BricsCAD, and ZWCAD. In MechQ, we include both metric and English units, plus a bill of materials with most functions. Also with MechQ, you'll find that most utilities work in either 2D or 3D. Now, what makes our software stand above others is the fact that MechQ requires little investment and is very easy to learn. It's a great tool packed with all sorts of drawing utilities that allow you to get the job done quickly. So at first glance, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed by the size of MechQ, but once you try it, I think you're going to feel right at home. You'll notice here that you have a couple of pull-downs in the menu bar. Uh, in addition, floating toolbars can also be activated. For today, let's explore MechQ using the pull-down menu. First, let me quickly take you through our four primary modules that you'll find inside MechQ. Uh, we call them modules because MechQ can be purchased individually or as an entire engineering suite. First, let's take a look at the mechanical module. Here, you're going to be able to create gears, springs, and more. Uh, within our material handling drop-down, you'll even find more tools like our conveyor utility. Also, our nuts and bolts utility within the fastener pull-down, that will allow you to draw both in 2D and 3D. After using the program for a little bit, I think you'll find that most of all the menus in MechQ are laid out in a very similar way. Uh, MechQ will typically ask you for a size, a view, and other options. Now, as these options are selected, the program will remember where you left off each time. So here we have our piping software. This is one of the largest modules you'll find within MechQ. It's got 2D, ISO, 3D, each accessible within the dialogues and menus. Here you can create an unlimited amount of pipe fittings, valves, flanges. Uh, you can also select many different types of piping using simple dialogue controls. For example, here we are inserting a series fitting. Uh, notice how the piping inserts quickly and automatically. MechQ prompts us for more fittings each time until we exit. Isometric piping is also included. This will allow you to generate diagrams and pipe spool drawings. Also, we have the P and ID module that contains a complete library of mechanical symbols to be used in pipe and instrumentation diagrams. The pipe schematic utility can create either simple or complex pipe layouts. Then, underneath the piping pullout, you'll find our 2D and 3D ducting module. Our ducting software allows you to draw transitions, Ys and Ts, branches, diffusers, offsets, and more. You can also choose ducting shapes like rectangular, round, and flat. Last but not least is our structural software module. It draws structural steel member including steel shapes and columns. Also it features a powerful set of utilities for beam connections, stairs, ladders, bracing, hand railing, welding symbols, and much much more. Since 1992, our goal has been very simple, uh, to help engineering firms draw more productively, and today more than 25,000 engineers and drafting professionals use MechQ. If you need a quick start to using MechQ, be sure to head to our download section for a complete PDF manual. Additional videos and tutorials are also available, so be sure to ask us. Thanks for your interest in MechQ, and have a great day!